Beets are the best. Beautiful, bountiful, bulbous roots overflowing with nutrition and flavor. Cold, hardy, and tolerant of a wide range of soils and conditions also makes beets super easy to grow. Which makes this dark, dreary day even worse. Because not only is it pouring rain, I'm not going to be getting any beets. At least not from this bed. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome to another episode of the Garden Quickie. The show where in two minutes or less, we get down to the bottom of things. In this case, to the bottom of my beet plants. To find out why these four foot high mega specimens of Detroit Supreme aren't gonna give me any beets this year. There's one single reason for why this is. And although it's literally never happened to me in the 12 years that I've been growing beets, it's actually not uncommon. And it was pretty easy to figure out. Time is short though, so let's dive in. To reverse detective this one, we need to go back to the beets life cycle. You see, beets are what's known as a biennial crop. Basically, they're plants that take two years to flower, fruit, and set their seed. The first year is all about growing leaves, stems, and roots. And in the case of beets, that also means that lovely bulbous tab root that we're after. And in the second year of that life cycle, the beets produce the flowers and the seeds. But I planted these beets in September. That was only eight months ago. Why are they flowering now? Eight months isn't even a year, let alone two years. What gives? Well, you see, that answer has more to do with when I planted these guys, rather than how long ago I planted them. It's because biennials mark the start of their second year with the onset of winter. The cold dormancy is officially the end of the first half of a biennial's life, regardless if the plant is six weeks old or six months old. That cold, vernalizing chilling period stimulates the reproductive growth in the beet's life cycle. So the beet plant's focus is to stop all root and shoot development and put all its energy into its flower buds. All energy is directed to the reproductive appendages, so there's really no more taproot formation. And if you look close, even the leaves are starting to get smaller and less lush. It doesn't matter how old the plants are in the literal sense, once winter hits, flowers are coming at the expense of the rest of the crop. Which further proves that old saying, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Except maybe the next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.